Hello everyone and welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Military Models. So in today's video I'm going to be working on just finishing off the, uh, the bow section with all the 3D printer parts I've been using for the last couple of weeks in the last previous video and this is really going to finish off the bow section of HMS Victory. So now it's time to start offering up this, uh, this top capping and get ready for the fitting. I wanted to do the port side molding. I realised that a lot of this capping that I uh, fitted almost a year ago need to start to be removed and like I say when I do another ship model and I'm now a lot more experienced I realized that these kind of things like cap-ins and, and obviously like the forecastle and all the uh, all the timber heads of the forecastle I wouldn't have added until kind of a lot later on in the build but it's a learning process and like I say each each week and each video I make and each section I do I just learned a little bit more and I realised that oh, next time I do one, I won't do this off. Because these 3D printed parts are essentially just an add-on, they're not designed for actual this actual kit, there's still quite a little bit of uh, fabrication needed doing to kind of add this section to get it to fit. So what I had to do now is I had to kind of like just uh, pack out a little bit around the uh, around the, the roundhouse just so when the curve of the moulding comes up it's, there was a section all filled in and not a, a big massive void and also you can see I'm having to just slightly trim away a little bit of material just off the roundhouse to sort of get a nice flush fit In this case, I was backwards and forward, taking the part off, bringing the part back, and just keep offering it up, keep applying the clamps, just so I was happy with the overall fit and how it just how it kind of looked. And kind of once I was happy with the overall size, it was pretty much cases trimming to length. So it seems like a lot of effort obviously taking it on, taking it off, offering it up. But once you've cut it, obviously if you cut it too short, you've kind of then got to try and maybe glue a little piece back on or you've probably got to order a new part. So this section of the build is quite important that you kind of just take your time and get it really 100% right before you just kind of like start gluing it on. And now I can kind of just on this section here, I can just kind of trim off some of this uh, excess material it just curves around the round house. And after all the material's been removed and obviously the rest of the cap has been cut off, I can now just paint this section in. It's also been a lot easier to paint now than after the uh, molding has been fitted. Now I'm just getting the entire top moulding, just, just a basic coat of just the uh, yellow ochre. And I kind of, you know, I actually with the port side one, I actually painted it, obviously I completely, completely painted it as a section, obviously with the yellow, the yellow ochre section and the black section, and then glued it on. But I realised that I kind of, obviously once I use the clamps next time, that I'm kind of chipping the paint quite a lot. So all I did first is just give it a slight basic, basic coat of the uh, yellow ochre.
So after gluing in the top moulding, I'm just getting the entire surface as a wet and dry. Just using a thousand or two thousand sandpaper. Just pretty much where the uh, the clamps have been that was holding it together while it was gluing. And now I can just give the entire top section just a, a final uh, coat of the uh, yellow ochre. And now it's time to start painting all the uh, the black sections. I did the port side one, I actually painted it like in full completely off the kit and landed it on, on after. So this section was a little bit more challenging, needed a little more of a steady hand, but I think I did it a, a quite a good job. I say I started off just using the paintbrush and a little bit later on I just used like a, a, a painting pen and it's really good for just like the really crisp edges that you need. And I found that really useful. So now it's time to start adding the two decorative mouldings that does fit lower than the uh, top moulding. And if you watch a previous video, you can see that obviously when I fitted the head timbers, uh, on the, the four head timbers, each one has had a, a slight slot. They're obviously designed to just take the uh, decorative mouldings. So I'm now just filling up that little slot with just a little bit of super glue. To, so then I can kind of bring this moulding back into place. Kind of, then I've still got a few seconds to kind of work it until I'm happy and it should fit into a nice correct slot and just hold it till it dries.
It's also included with the 3D printed bow kit. Is we get these little uh, face cappings that are designed to kind of face off and cap off the timber heads. And we get the section for uh, port and starboard. And they just need a little bit of, like, uh, like we did before, need positive painting, and obviously the yellow ochre. And then we're going to kind of pick out the uh, the French blue section. This was a little bit tricky. You just need a little bit of a steady hand. And as you can see, I had to uh, use the uh, magnifying glasses for this section. So once the paint's dry on the timber head cap is in pretty much a case of just cut them off the sprue and we can pretty much glue them to the fronts of the timber heads. And once you do this, it really does start to bring the uh, HMS Victory to life. Once we've kind of capped all this bow section in, it really does start to take a life for its own. And I'm so impressed with these, these parts that I got from Woody's Model Works. I just think for anybody who wants to advance the HMS Victory, just make it stand out a little bit make it look a little bit more realistic i just don't think you can do do any better than these kit parts Okay, so I'm getting very close to the end of this video now. I'm just fabricating a couple little heads. Obviously, heads is the name for the uh, toilets that they used in the uh, Royal Navy. And I suppose they use it in a lot of navies as well. Yeah, but that's, that's why a lot of the timbers are all called head timbers. And I'm just obviously just finishing it off and just drilling a couple of holes. Gotta make sure I uh, drill all the way through. Oh, it's got nowhere to go. Like saying, I kind of just want to thank you all for watching today's video and obviously all my other videos. My channel's going from uh, strength to strength this uh, last couple of, since pretty much hit 2021, I've just kind of moved up another level and obviously with the growth of my channel. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who watches all my videos and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs>